Hi everybody, Winning Image from Triple Sleeve TCG here. We're having a giveaway for a silver disc blaze. Be sure to follow the steps on the screen to make sure you could win and look forward to a winner's announcement coming September 1st. With all that being said, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, it's Owens here from TSTCG and today we're gonna to be going over a deck profile for premium Tachikaze. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're gonna start with our starter, playing the generic V-series starter. Gives you a quick shield, you know, pretty plus. For triggers, playing eight draw, four heal, and four of the new premium crit. New premium crit says you can stride with the cost, which is really good for consistency. Um, playing eight draw, we need to see our pieces. Tachi's a deck that requires a good amount of hand to go off. So getting draws and damage and draws and drive checks really lets you dig for those pieces a bit better. Grade ones are playing three of this dragon. So he has the ability on place, you gauge him. And then when he'd be retired from rear guard, you soul blast one and add the gauge to your hand. So this is really good for early pressure. If you're going second, you can literally call this out and swing with it. And then if they attack it, then you get a free card to your hand. It's also just really good. I mean, you retire it, you gain card advantage. Next we're playing four, Robio. Robio is an absolutely insane card. One place, you soul blast one and you're gonna gauge one of your rear guards. And then he's gonna give them 5,000 for each of their gauges. So usually what you do is once you stack up multiple gauges, you'll call them out and you'll use your effect. And then you'll literally just plus your card 25, 30K, sometimes more and then they're gonna multi-attack, so a very strong card. And finally, we are playing four of Lightblade Dragon. He speeds up your gauges. He has an act turn or act ability where you can rest him and gauge something. Then you can counterblast one to give that unit 5K. We don't really counterblast often, but he's there to where we can put him down early and gauge our sweepers, gauge key pieces to set up for our combo plays. All right, so for grade two, playing four, sweeper. Most of you know what this card does by now extremely strong card. Once you get three or more gauges on him, he cannot be targeted by card effects and he gains 5,000 per gauge. When he swings, he also gauges one. Next we're playing three Bomb Raptors. So this deck does retire your opponent's rear guards, which is why I think this card is good. He also gains power for the same amount of gauges that he gets put on. That's a once per turn. So the only thing with this card is make sure that you use his effect at the proper timing to get the maximum amount of value. So on your turns where you're doing Anger Blader or the new premium stride, which I'll get into. It basically gives you a massive push. Next, playing four Turbo Smilodons. Card's insane. On placement, Vanguard or Rear Guard, you get a gauge your Rear Guard, and then on swing, you get a gauge one again. So he really helps you speed up your gauge. You really want to get to three plus gauges on Sweeper as fast as you can, since a lot of the premium meta does have the ability to target and retire cards. So that really keeps your key pieces safe and really just gives your opponent something really hard to deal with. Next, we're playing three Mega Rex. Really good for the grade two game and comboing in general. Since you're playing eight draw, you can often just aggro early and then kill the draw trigger to draw a card. So you're just digging through your deck faster. He also has the ability to gauge. So it's just add a benefit in the deck, but just really good for filtering. And finally, we're playing two Bobo. So a lot of people, I don't see running this card in this deck, but Tachis can do a ton with one damage. So I feel like damage and I is gonna be a very, very big strategy against the deck. We play Bobo just because when we stride our new stride from premium collection, which is literally just Anger Blader, but more insane, we are able to give ourselves that damage. Another thing with Bobo is, first of all, you counter charge soul charge and then you deal yourself a damage. So damage triggers will also activate. So say you hit like a draw or a crit, you can put that 10,000 power on one of your rear guards, which is also just gonna restand. The deck doesn't really have a lot of defense anyway. So playing Bobo just literally helps you aggro harder and get all your plays off no matter how your opponent is playing the game. All right, for grade threes, we are playing four Anger Blader, of course. So Anger Blader is at one in standard, but he has not been restricted in premium. This card literally says, if you go first and they give you the damage, you pretty much win the game. He has an effect where as many times as you want, you can retire. You can move one of your other cards as an equip gauge for another unit to retire one of your opponent's rear guards. And then also on swing, you counter blast one and you're gonna stand all your rear guards or three of your front row rear guards with three or more gauges and the front row is gonna gain five. So he just puts in so much work. You have your big sweeper columns. You have your big bomb raptor columns. Smilodon gives you a bunch of gauges. So it becomes really easy to find all your pieces and pop off super hard. This just really cripples your opponent. Most decks um, generally need their pieces to go off. So if you're going first and they give you the damage, you can just either win the game or cripple your opponent out of the game. And finally, we're only playing six grade threes. So we're playing two of this guy. 
So on place, you get to gauge one of your other rear guards, and then on swing, he does the same thing. So this is just to further your consistency for gauging. He also has the Excel marker, so if you have to ride him, then it's fine. You're still getting a gauge off and you're getting a draw card. Okay, moving on to the G-Zone, we have three of our new premium collection stride with an extremely long name that I do not care to pronounce. So he has an effect that once per turn, when you place a rear guard from hand, you can attach three equip gauges from your drop zone to one of your units. After you do something like a Mega Rex or you discard cards out of your hand, then you're gonna have stuff in your drop. You can attach them to a sweeper. Sweeper gets huge, whatever card you need three gauges on. So it literally just excels your plays. And then his other ability is the same thing as Anger Blader. You just counter blast one and you G flip, and you're gonna stand all of your rear guards with three or more gauges. You're also gonna retire the same amount as you did. So what you can do is you can gauge your Bomb Raptor and then swing with this, then blow up your opponent's board and then activate Bomb Raptor's effect since something got retired. So then he gauges and he gains the big power. So card's really insane. You can also just stride him if you have no damage, Bobo yourself, and then bam, you have the damage to go off. So very, very strong card. So we have four. This is the premium collection card from last set. It's a restander. So he literally says on swing when you engorge, you're gonna G flip and then you're gonna discard five equip gauges and then you're gonna stand this unit. What's insane is he does not lose drive checks. And then he also has an ability to where from the G zone, you can soul blast one to gauge something. So this card is also really slept on. If you're getting damage denied, or even if you just want like a really big play, you can go into him. And since you have access to so many different ways to gauge, the five gauge is next to nothing. It's extremely easy to get, especially if you've been um, aiming towards that from your early game with your great ones and other resources. Next, we have two Gaia. You never really go into him. He gains power and a crit. The other strides are just way better. Then G guards. These are used to flip up G units and then they gain 10,000 shield for your opponent's open circles. Flip fodder. The dismal, of course. Um, we just need dismal to make sure that some of our key pieces don't get targeted, especially if they're planning to swing over some of our pieces that we need for next turn. And then we have finally another G Guardian. Um, this card's pretty good. So you retire one of your rear guards and they get the ability to where they can get returned to hand. So not bad. And then one Cyclone. This would be a Drachma. Mine just hasn't come in the mail yet. So play the Drachma if you have it. But yeah, overall, that's it. The deck is extremely aggressive. I think it's one of the most fun things to come out of Premium Collection. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe. And please check out TripleSleepTCG.com. We currently have the best offers on Cardfight Vanguard products, pre-orders, and singles available on our TCG player. Thank you.